This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. During this tutorial we'll be focusing on the text mesh pro component and how to make the text in your user interface look good and stand out. So in every game there is going to be probably some text form either that being the title or the buttons in your main menu or maybe some description or stuff like that and you'll want your text to stand out and seem interesting and in my case when you create a text mesh pro uh, in your menu it looks something like this it looks very bo boring very basic and i don't want that so i will be showing you how to change the looks of your text mesh pro and the text in your game uh, through some simple tricks so i will be focusing on the title text here and i'll just turn off the button that i have in my main menu and the first thing that you might notice is that the font of this uh text looks very boring it's as if it came out of an essay or something they wrote for school and we do not want that so we'll be first changing the font asset in the uh, our properties here and unfortunately unity only provides one font asset and it's this so i've imported a new one which is called avepest and i found this online and you can find this too in the link in the description and once you download this and import it to your project you'll need to right click on it go create text mesh pro and create a font asset and this will create this font asset here that we will be able to attach to the property available in the text mesh pro and this will instantly change the looks of our text to something a bit more interesting as even just by this single change our text looks much better than before but there is more of course uh, as in every platform with text there is some basic options like the bold italian underline and stuff like that which you are probably familiar with so i won't be discussing much on this there's also the uh, size of the font which you can set it to auto size if you want i usually just keep it to uh, some manual set size that i've set and i don't want to uh, allow unity to change changes to my looks and my size for the uh, my text in most cases is of course the color so you can change the color to whatever you want there's also the gradient which i really like and apply to most of my games which if you don't know what gradient is is maybe applying two colors at the same time maybe i'll go with red and orange something like that and you'll get this gradient effect that the characters from left has uh, a red color the right has orange color and something in the middle is both of them at the same time i usually go for vertical gradient so i'll just set it to orange and get this fire looking effect why not i think this looks all right maybe i should have played around a bit more with the values but you know it's just a demonstration of how you can use the gradient then you have some spacing so you can change how the spacing works for your characters word line and paragraph for now mine is at 10 i can set it maybe to 100 and you'll see that there is a much bigger gap between each character i'll just undo that then you can change the for the word so 100 again makes the space between the words much larger and same for the line and paragraph uh, furthermore there is the alignment which you can set left middle or right and some more which i don't really use i usually focus on these three uh, for my games i usually go for middle and then there is the top middle and bottom and again some other ones which do some similar effects and i usually don't use them so i'll go for middle again and for the font ma materials when you create a font asset you get a font material like this so there is this arrow you can have a look at the material that is attached to your font asset and you can manipulate how this changes your uh, font let's start off with the face so changing the face color will change actually the color of your font but i'll just keep it to white and let the gradient effect be applied to this you can also change the uh, softness so you can see if i increase the softness it makes our text looks softer and blurrier i don't really use that in most cases there are some cases that do make this an interesting effect and of course there is the delete which essentially makes your text and characters look bolder and larger and again i'll just keep it to the default values maybe i'll increase it slightly to 0 0.1 then it looks a bit better and a bit more bolder and then we have the outline which creates an outline around the characters 
as you can see, I'm increasing the thickness, the thickness of the outline, and it creates this line around my characters, which make it for an interesting looking effect. I'll just keep it to 0 0.1, and of course, you can change the color of the outline, so you can change it to white, and you'll get this kind of effect. You can play around with the colors and see what fits the, your game best. You can apply textures to this, and same goes for the face, but I won't be doing that now. I'll just keep it to the default. And then we have the underlay, which is essentially uh, a shadow around our text and characters. So if I set this to an offset of minus one, you can see that the shadow goes to the left hand side. If I set it to the right, it goes to the right hand side. So you can offset it to whatever side you want your uh, text to have some shadow effect to it. And same goes for the Y axis. So you can set it to upwards or downwards. I'll just set it to maybe something like that. I think it looks all right. And you can change, of course, the delay. So the strength of this effect to be uh, much lighter or more intense. So something like that. And of course, there is the softness. If you have low softness, your characters and the shadow will be essentially an exact replica of your uh, character but in a shadow form if you set it to softness it will be more blurred and less tense and bold so uh, you can play around with this and see what fits your game best of course you can change the color again and set it to white for example since i've had my underlay and my outline sorry to white i'll just keep it to white and change the strength to maybe 0 0.15 and change the offset to be somewhere in the middle so something like that, I think looks all right. And again, I'll offset the wire to zero again. So this will get some glowing or some outline around my text. There is some more options which I won't be discussing because they are a bit more complicated, which are the lighting and glow effects. And But even through this simple procedure and these simple changes, you can see that my text looks much more interesting now and looks much more polished than what we had before, which is if I create a new text and see the difference between the two, you'll see a huge difference. So I'll just write game title. And you can see the huge difference that it makes through changing these few properties. Uh, okay, so there might be some simple solutions to changing your text and these are some of them. I hope you enjoyed this video and found this useful and I hope you can apply this and stuff that you learned through this video to your game. Thank you for watching and I'll see you during the next time. Goodbye. Want to become a professional game developer? I designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal. Make sure to check the link in the description for more information.